Hi guys, this is Leslie Wood with RCC Fine Art. Today we're going to be doing a bear. The other day I did um, a cute little 8x8 rainbow bear. Today we're going to be doing a slightly larger face on a 12x12 wrapped canvas. And I also want to use dark browns, coffee, bronze, a little bit of gray, and some black. So hopefully he'll turn out pretty cute. We will see. I'm going to go ahead and lay down the background, which is going to be white. And then we're going to start pouring. All right, guys, we are back. Um, I put down the white background, getting ready to do the color. Another important thing that we need to know about working on a larger surface and also a canvas is I have put three of the little boards that I use um, to paint on. I've stacked three up and put under this canvas so that it's solid. It's it's not going to sag. The paint, my paint's not going to swoop to the middle. So that is important to do when you're working on something big. Uh, now we're going to start laying down some browns. Um, this is a dark brown and I'm just going to squeeze the cup together a little bit so that I can get a, uh, a better handling when it is pouring. Okay. Alrighty, now when doing this, it's gonna pour, it's a bigger surface. I'm gonna be using a lot more paint. It's okay if it comes out in dots. I don't really like the control. Um, I really like the control of the squeeze bottles but uh, we can still work with it because we're gonna move it with our, our uh, pencil anyway. Okay, we wanna be sure and get the same colors uh, coming down into the white. So I really want his, his main color to be the nice brown. Sorry, I hit my cameraman. <laughs> All right. Okay, now I'm going to lay down the rest of the colors. Uh, I still have my coffee and bronze, um, and I'm going to fill in with black and gray. So when you come back, you will see all of the colors put down, and then we'll start moving it. All right, guys, we've got the color laid out, our dark brown, coffee, bronze, and some gray, and I'll be going back in with the black. So now we just need to uh, move the paint and get his, um, his little face outlined here. definition and get those done so here's where when you're just filling in your spots your holes on the canvas I mean you can just go ahead and get some of those details done okay I love his ears all right so I'm going to continue uh, moving paint and this is a larger canvas. I might use my smaller angled 
spatula to just move some more paint. Let's see how it works. You can just move a lot more and then go back and fill in your holes. I like that. All right, so I'm gonna continue using my pencil and this tool to move. Um, when it comes to his body, let me define his back here. Okay, the body I am going to use um, my uh, angled just to do a nice swipe and we will hopefully get a lot of nice really cool cells here when I swipe down. And we will find out. Okay. So I'm just gonna do this one swipe and uh, then I will continue filling them in and we'll come back once I've got all of the colors moved around. So here's what we do with the swipe. Just take your spatula and just move it on down. And you want these colors to run over that edge so that you have a nice, it's like the painting just continues. And look at the cells we're getting in that with this swipe. Make sure you do wipe off your tool in between. Okay, and I'm gonna do another one along the edge and run those colors right over. So we're gonna continue that. I'm gonna do the other side the same and just bring some with the pencil down in the front. I don't want this to be um, around his entire body. So I'll go ahead and do that and then we're gonna come back and we'll do the details. Okay guys, I have moved the paint, filled him in. We did a swipe with our angled spatula on both sides to get those cells going. Uh, now I'm going to do uh, facial feature details. Um, I'm gonna blow out his ears a little bit around his face and bring the details of his face out by moving the paint a bit. Our last step will be the eyes and the nose um, and defining his mouth a little bit more. So. And you can see, I like around the sides of his face, you can see the paint is already doing its own thing uh, when it comes in contact with the white. So now we are just going to do a little more defining. Um, so his ears, I wanna make a little more round. sides okay and then we can just start pulling in some fur and doing my I don't know if it's signature I don't know it's just what I like to do Wispies. Okay, and you can see that parts of the white are already drying up. This one is uh, moving pretty quick, which is good. <clears throat> so, I mean, you have plenty. 
plenty of time to work. But I like what's happening around his face. That pretty much happened naturally when I put the paint down. So I don't think I want to mess with that too much. Um, he's got a nice abstract going on. His face is pretty defined around the sides. Um, I just want to put a little bit more definition in his snout. Okay, and it does not have to be perfect. This is an abstract bear. Okay. He has some movement going around the eyes. <clears throat> I do like this definite little chunky head divider. Okay, I like what's happening here. Maybe one more line coming away from his forehead. All right, now you, I mean, you can see the muscles in his head, a little bit more definition. All right, um, I like that. I don't think I'm going to do anything more to him. I really don't want to mess up his natural line. It looks like his fur is coming off just by the way the paint blended. So um, we're going to call that a day with his face. And then uh, when I come back, we're going to be doing the eyes. Okay, guys. Wow, it takes a long time to move this paint around. This is a, this is a pretty big... Um, canvas but uh, I have filled in the nose with just um, you know black gray tiny little bit of white not a whole lot all right and now I'm doing the eyes and here's where if you pick something out of the paint you just put a dollop more paint there all right I filled in the eyes with black um, and then of course I go around them with white and gray um, and now I'm just going to define the eyes a little bit more and put that little you know sparkle of light in so I like to pick up from the inside and then go around the outside so pick up from the black you're just moving the paint around okay over here I'm gonna pick up from the black and go around paint is drying a little bit here so I'm gonna pick up some more gray because you really want some fluid all right okay there you go, I think his eyes are done. I mean, see, it, the paint starts reacting with each other when you move it around. This eye has a little bit more going on than this one, and that's fine. Um, it's really, really up to you. Um, I think I might put just a little bit more white on this side. And now I just add the, uh, the little white sparkle, and he is gonna be done. Great, thanks guys, have fun, bye. Okay guys, here he is finished. Um, I just finished off the eyes and added the sparkle dot. Okay, so there he is. I'm loving the cells in his body. All right, he's a healthy looking bear. So that's it. All right. Enjoy. Have fun, guys. Bye.